So I heard we're making content. Hi, I have a job, which means I still have money to spend. Which is fun and terrifying because uh, in these emotionally trying times, I have less self-control than I would like. And I'm a Virgo, an ISTJ, and an Enneagram One, which means the only thing I have more of than self-control is self-hatred. I spent $60 on tea. I'm really excited about it. And I am going to drink coffee while I unbox my tea. It's a local place called Tea Source, which is lovely because it means it arrived in like two days because they are in the same town as me, which is so nice. Sent it in this nice little box here, just regular post office box. Sealed it very nicely. Oh, here she is, all that tea. I'm excited. Also, I had to order a little loose leaf tea filter because I don't own one. So there's my cute little loose leaf tea filter. Apparently it's German. Thanks Germany for your tea filter. Very cute. Good size for cup. The website also said it's a good size for small teapots. So. Maybe I'll have to get a teapot. Which one are you? Oh, here's the correct side. Evening in Missoula. This one's for my sister. So Marin, if you're watching, pretend to be surprised when I send it to you. I don't actually like evening in Missoula. Um, I received it as a gift from a friend once and uh, it was not my jam. It tastes a little bit too much like uh, star anise and molasses. I don't think there's any molasses in here, but there is star anise, which is that black licorice taste, which I don't really care for, even though I ate it all the time as a small child. Anyway, my sister really likes this one, so I'm gonna give it to her. Happy birthday. Jasmine Silver Needles. Hey, hey, hey. This is a knock your socks off tea. White tea and jasmine blossoms. Okay, this is the one that there's another version of on Tea Source that is $41 for two ounces of tea. I really wanted to buy it because I want to taste that bougie tea. However, I was not willing to spend a hundred dollars on tea. Only 60. So, uh, the next best thing. I have to do the old man reading thing sometimes. Where I like, eh, eh, eh. I, not so bad that I need bifocals yet, but uh, we might be getting there. This one is called Dragon Well also known as Lung Ching. This classic Chinese green tea has a delicious aroma, a mellow floral flavor, and a slight sweet aftertaste. It's just green tea. I'm gonna be real honest, I bought it because it has dragon in the name. I'm excited about it. Iron Goddess of Mercy. Very excited about this one. I had it once at uh, Spy House. Yes, the only time I've ever been inside a spy house. I had tea. It was really good. And then I found out you could buy it at Tea Source. So it's for me now. This cup layers the flavor of roasted almonds, sweet honey, and flowers. It's oolong tea. See, I've just got a whole variety. I've got some, some white tea, some green tea, some oolong. I'm pretty sure there's a black tea in here. Let's find out. There's still three bags. Oh, one of them is a sample. Cute, the Minnesota Nice Tea. 
Oh, it's an iced tea. Tastes like oranges with a floral touch and pairs nicely with a cabin at the lake. Ingredients, black tea, green tea, natural flavors, lemongrass, rose petals, corn flour. Corn flour. I've never seen corn flour in a tea. Time to have a blue mouth. Maybe I'll make some of that for fun. This one is Kenya Black, F-B-O-P. Great alternative to your favorite breakfast blend. This Kenyan black tea is smooth and bright with a juniper finish. It's black tea. See, there's the black tea. I've got a whole selection going on. I don't think I have any Rogos, but I don't think they had any for sale. Unless I'm wrong and just don't read, which is very possible. I have the reading comprehension of rock right now. This one is Wild English Rose. I'm kind of excited about this one because um, I think I had a, like a rose hip tea one time and it was pretty good. So uh, let's drink some flowers. This rich black tea is comforting, silky sweet, floral, and flavorful. Black tea, natural flavors, rose petals. Hey, hey, hey. Excellent. And then we have our lovely little invoice, 10 out of 10. Received everything I ordered. You know what I still need though? I need a kettle that like boils to a certain temperature. Cause this one's 212, so boiling temperature. Boiling temperature, 195 degrees, 175 degrees, 175 degrees, and boiling temperature. And this one is boiling temperature also. And I don't have like a cooking thermometer either. So uh, guess who's gonna go to Target later? Maybe we'll have a tea tasting video next. Vote now in the comments. Uh, anyway, this is my tea unboxing. I have government mail to open, which I should not probably do on camera. Goodbye. <laughs>